What's up everyone, my name is Carson Ham, and we're gonna be doing a quick practice round here at Castle Hayne in Castle Hayne, North Carolina. Um, so yeah, before every hole, I'm gonna do a quick walk down. Um, you'll see it go on, give you a quick rundown of the hole. But this is hole one, it's 368 feet to the current pin. All the way down there, um, we're gonna be throwing some quick warm up shots, uh, three tee shots to get it started. So yeah, hope you all enjoy the video. All right, first shot, easy shot, we're going with the buzz. All right, so first shot was my buzz, and it was the best shot of the group, surprisingly, so. We're right down here next to the short pin. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can make this putt. Got about 50-ish feet. Oh no! <laughs> Two more. Boom, baby, yes sir. One more for good luck. Oh, just over the top. That was a good putt. Good first putts of the day. Oh, let me just gotta, what's happening? Two, we're going with the big Z Luna. And I rushed it, that's unfortunate. All right, we are way short. I'm gonna get a jump putt, Big Z Luna. I know I'm probably in the way of the camera, I'm sorry. But fast it should be, it's like pretty much straight ahead right here. Not the choice, not the right choice. Pretty uh, way short on that one, probably still have like a, another 40, 50 ish foot putt. So, oh, fix my mistakes, it's all right. And we are past it. No! Not the best bid. And yet, so there's a significant drop off off the back right here. I'll take two out of three for that putt. Circle's edge uphill. All day, baby. All right, hole three, 341 feet. Slight turn to the left, but uh, it's uh, more of a hyzer flip up the flat and let it push as far to the left as it possibly can. I go with a buzz here. Uh, Mike just got the if, depending on the wind. Didn't give it the height, it was the right line, like right flip, but it needs to be a little bit higher to push further left. All right, not a bad spot. A little bit further right, and that would be, and not as far up, but gives us a good look. Better to be on being on the left side. Practice. 
practice these Danny putts. And a little help from the tree, but no any. We'll give it one more good bit. A little bit better, but a little bit more commitment. Pull forward, pretty much main objective off the tee. Make that gap and just be in the fairway. Pretty easy par four, easy birdie if you just execute that. I didn't execute it. I'm gonna go with the forehand ante. Just put me back in the fairway in a good spot to save the par. Psych, change the game plan. Basket is down this gap right down here and tucked in on the right. Inside. All right, so we're gonna try to go through this gap and the basket's just right down here. Got a little open lane over here on the right side. Yep, we got it. I'd like to show y'all more of the fairway there, but can't throw good shots on this hole for some reason. But uh, I think for right now, I know I was doing like the walking down the fairways, but it's kind of raining. And so I'm gonna try to get this over as fast as I can so I don't mess up my camera. That's why I take three putts. Unfortunate. All right, hole four, T sign says 283 feet. But we just installed a new pin on this hole, so it'll be tucked in more on the right side. The normal pins straight ahead. Um, Y'all will see when we get up there. It's more of like a pushing Anheuser. Kind of what I wanted, just too high. I left it in two nose up. If it was nose down, I would have continued that right push. But now we're on the total opposite side of the fairway that the basket is on. So I ended up not filming that shot just because it would have been impossible to film. But we got out and we're sitting right there. Got stopped by these guardian trees, but we'll have a nice framed up putt. Unlucky. And I'm in the process of uh, learning a step putt. So, still trying to get that feel down. 
and everything, but I mean, not a good round so far, but we'll get there. It is kind of cold and raining, so I guess we're using that as an excuse today. But this next hole is one of my favorites on the course, so I'm excited to film myself throwing it. All right, so we have a 505 foot par four. Pretty much want to push it down. There's three trees sitting in the middle of the fairway. You want to make it make them around. If you make them around, you have a good look at birdie. Um, but yeah, we're going ESP Vulture. God knows, dude. Well, not really what I wanted, but I guess we'll take it. All right, so we probably got the luckiest kick of our life or something, but I mean, we'll put it in the landing zone, just went a totally different route. So pretty much you want to come around this tree, this middle tree, and get a skip somewhere off over here and, and land in this area. And we actually landed, pretty, got a pretty good break. So we're going to see, we're going to capitalize on this opportunity and hopefully take a bird. Pretty simple upshot. Basket is right behind those trees, so let me get a better angle at it. There we go. Take an ABI X3, put it up there. Well, made that eat harder than it needed to be. So we're gonna go for it again. A little bit cleaner this time. There we go. A little bit past it, but not as shanked. All right, 25 foot putt. We're gonna smash this out real quick. easy does it yes sir so I think for today we're not gonna be able to get or I'm not at least gonna be able to film a full 18 so we'll do a front nine today and I'll come out another day this week when it's not raining and get the back nine in but I'll probably finish an 18 I just would hate I just really don't want to mess my camera up All right, one of my favorite holes on the course hole seven it's 355 feet part Part three. It's gonna go with the flip up, turn over, and have it finish to the right. Let's go! That was beautiful. So as you can probably tell, I'm more of a backhanded player. I'm working on my forehand as we speak. Um, so if I had the 400 foot forehand, I would, or 350 foot forehand, I would forehand it, but I love the backhand play here. Such a beautiful shot, a nice flip up. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all more of this hole. See, so yeah, I come down this probably 20, 25 foot gap little tunnel and then it opens up more right here you have this guardian tree this big ass pine tree on the right that you got to beat where most people get stuck at but if you're like me and I think I made it around probably past the basket but that's why I love this hole probably my dream hole to ace a little bit past the basket or past pin high so I'm gonna try to splash this in for a bird to hurry this hurry this up help when you got wet putters. Let's go baby. Another bird. 
third on hole seven, yes sir. All right, hole eight, Castle Hain, uh, the signature hole of the course. 700 foot par five, you got pretty um, mandatory uh, tee shot, just put it in the landing zone and uh, worry about your second shot whenever you get up there pretty much. Gonna be a little bit on the right side, but it's better than where I ended up yesterday. I ended up right in a creek over here on the right side. That's one of the dangers that people were scared of on this hole, like I was yesterday. So if anybody comes out here and finds a red zone right there, I'm looking for it. And I would highly appreciate it if someone gets it out. I will probably be hopping in. I'm going for a swim to get it back sometime next week. All right, it's really raining now, so we're gonna try to hurry this up. I'm gonna go with the forehand through this gap up here and uh, have ourselves a good look for birdie. Oh, what a kick. That's a perfect spot, that throw. Sometimes it'd be better to be lucky than it is to be good. All right, pretty much the ideal spot. Basket is right up there. Let's get up there for easy bird. And of course, no easy bird clip the only tree I had to miss. Basket is right up there. A little hyzer putt. See if we can't save this bird. Go back to back. Oh, and the putter's wet from the rain. Really could not even grip my putter right then slipped right out of my hand so we're just not even going to stop recording and film this putt right here yes sir i like that and now on the hole nine pretty much a must get birdie for tournaments so we're gonna it's a spike forehand or turn over backhand whichever you're more comfortable with so for right here I'm more comfortable with the forehand um, so we're just gonna go ahead and put it up there there is a mando at that tree right there so I just hope it doesn't come into play it shouldn't get me towards the short position You really want to get more height on it than that. You get the height so it can push further right. This pin is in the long position, but that was a good shot for short. Short position is only like 30 feet edge of circle from the long pin, so we should be fine. Either way, and of course now the rain is lighting up a little bit, but still don't want to take a chance with my camera. Yeah, perfect for the short basket. All right, let's smash this putt. And we can call the video then. Putter is nice and shiny and wet. Can't really get it dry right now. So we're just gonna hope that it works. And I left it low. That's what you get for not really drying off your disc. So, alrighty, everybody. I appreciate everyone watching this back nine. Working back nine, front nine at Castle Hain. Oh, nice, easy par to end it. So, alrighty. Again, appreciate everybody for watching. If you like more of my content, please subscribe, and uh, there'll be more videos coming on the way. All right, peace, guys.